Hey, so I've been asked many times, you know, since I make YouTube videos and do a lot of stuff on Facebook and whatnot, how is it that if I'm a blind person, I can do so much on computers? I mean, it's a decent enough question. After all, computers are by and large a very visual medium and being as how I have zero ability to see, to a person who hasn't encountered a blind person or even a visually impaired person before, it must seem, frankly, an impossibility. Or at the very least, a bit like I'm, well, you know, just lucky enough to throw a dart across a room and hit the bullseye now and then. As it happens, what's going on is I'm using screen reading software. Now there are lots of different screen readers out there, things like Narrator is one of the more common ones that you can find and most computers will have that program. But the one that I'm using is called JAWS. Uh, to be actually strictly accurate, it's called JAWS for Windows. And it's made by a company called Freedom Scientific. Its name stands for Job Access with Speech, uh, which pretty much tells you the intention of the program. Let's get the blind into work. Um, which, you know, I'm not opposed to. I think you know, we should try to get as many people employed as possible and we're more than capable of you know, full-time employment. So, yeah, very noble aspiration. I'm explaining all of this because, you know, people have been asking me how I do what I do and how it works, so that's what this video is about. Basically, it reads whatever text is on the screen. Now, there are some compatibility issues. Um, and that's why there are constant updates being put out by the company Freedom Scientific. Uh, and it should be stated that it's a shareware program. So you know, people get access to it, uh, or at least those who are eligible, uh, for free. And then free downloads come to them. And after a certain period of time, when that runs out, they then have to pay for it. And you know, anyone watching this video right now can go out and buy it. And it ain't cheap, but it's there for you if you so wish it. Um, but the bigger point I'm trying to make here is that we are now living in 2019. Pretty much any program you can dream of has probably already been conceived of by some, you know, Silicon Valley nerd at some point or another if it hasn't already been produced, beta tested and put out on the market. And when it comes to stuff to help get the blind or visually impaired actually ready for jobs, yeah, there's a lot of different options. JAWS is one that I've been using for a very long time now. I also used its precursor, WinVision, which you may have heard a little bit of because it's the voice famous from the late Stephen Hawking's. It's the program that provided him the ability to speak. Um, and you know, they have their uh, pros and their cons as far as um, you know, they rather sound like, you know, you've got Davros uh, communicating an audiobook to you. Um, but nonetheless, they get the job done uh, for all their, you know, their, their positives and negatives. Um, and, you know, whilst I can't use a mouse because that's something you have to be able to see to do, I can bypass that by using keyboard shortcuts, um, combinations of keystrokes that will enable me to input all the same instructions to the computer that you would use a mouse to do. And tests have shown that a person who is good with memorizing their keyboard shortcuts can navigate a computer as fast, if not faster, than somebody using a mouse. So that's a positive. Um, but all of that said, what's frustrating is how few people in the IT world, at least here in Australia anyway, have ever heard of JAWS and how much misinformation that exists out there. You know, myths like narrator is just as good, all screen readers are interchangeable, uh, there is no need to use Facebook, you can use Facebook M, they're identical, and that gets past all the compatibility issues. All that stuff is frustrating, and at the end of the day, yes, I agree, sometimes it's easier just to, to avoid the sites where there are compatibility issues. 
Uh, yes, it's not necessarily reasonable to expect all people in IT to know about all programs, but when it is something that has been used by people in business as well as the visually impaired for literally more than a decade now, you'd expect that the uptake of information about it and knowledge of how to actually cope with it would be more than, well, frankly, I've, I've seen people who are really, really capable uh, IT experts uh, respond to it like I just presented them with the holy grail, uh, you know, and, and uh, some missing, you know, chapter of the Quran. So, um, it's a little bit strange, but nonetheless, yes, I can use my computer and I can do so thanks to this program. And I'm going to make another video about it another time because, uh, as I say, there are some issues with it and those do deserve addressing. But no, I'm not just, uh, you know, tapping keys and uh, hoping to hell that uh, the right things happen at the right time or entirely depending on people who aren't visually impaired to do all of the grunt work for me uh, because that would be, well, that would be frankly fucked. Um, Anyway, thank you for watching the video and please keep all your questions about what it's like to live with a visually impair impairment or blindness coming. Thank you for your support. Like, subscribe, share and always look after yourselves, those around you and stay cool.